Hi guys, Gary here with Gary Clayton Photography. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Now today we're in the studio. We're not out and about, we're not hiking through fields of snow and, and, and down uh, country roads, snow covered in minus 20 degrees Celsius. We spent the day working within the studio. We had a lot of images to prepare, edit, print and so on for some upcoming exhibitions that we have in a local gallery. So I wanted to get a lot of that done today. So I thought to myself, you know what, I'm going to take some time out from doing that and I'm going to talk about something that is of interest to me anyhow and I'm sure to the other photographers out there, especially the underwater photographers. Now, you'll know, if you follow my uh, videos on my YouTube channel, you know that one of my passions is underwater photography. Hopefully uh, you may have seen some of the videos I've made on my underwater expeditions and so on. Um, when I've um, been different places, uh, diving and so on, in search of underwater images. Recently I did came back from a, um, a dive trip to the north coast of Cuba. Hopefully you've seen a couple of those uh, videos. I will post a link to those videos uh, for you to look at. Um, but anyhow, something I wanted to talk about, especially for the underwater photographers out there, and that is this. When I was on that last trip to Cuba, I was diving with another photographer, um, great guy, super guy, amazing equipment, an amazing photographer. Um, but what I noticed was he was having an awful lot of trouble with his underwater video lights. Now an underwater video light shouldn't be confused with a, a dive light. A dive light is for illuminating uh, things for navigation, if you will, or so you can see underwater. And it tends to be a constant straight beam with a hot spot. A video light, a video light tends to be a much wider beam, maybe 110 degrees, and it's a constant sheet of white. It has no hot spot. They're quite unique. Um, they can be very, very expensive um, to buy. And this gentleman was having a lot of trouble with his, and he had two mounted on his camera tray. He explained to me that he'd spent 700 US dollars each on these lights. That was 1,400 US dollars for both of these lights. And he had constant problems with them of leaking, turning off underwater, not being able to turn them on, and, and many other little problems. And it was just very frustrating for him. And I thought, well, I'm gonna tell him about the lights that I'm using because first of all, A, I've never ever had a problem with my underwater video lights. And B, I only paid 64 Canadian dollars per light from eBay. Now, sure, uh, they are a Chinese construction. It's the Archon Company. The model I'm using is the D11V. Now, I bought this particular underwater light maybe, oh, five or six years ago. It's a great little compact underwater video light. It's super powerful. It's got an amazing amount of light. It's got three power settings. It has a strobe setting. It's an extremely useful tool and it does a great job. Now I've never given this particular underwater video light any form of maintenance whatsoever. It did originally come with a little strap, some silicone grease to lubricate the O-rings and a package of, of two backup O-rings to replace the ones that's already in there. I've never used them. I've never opened the silicone. For five years I have used this dive light, or this, a correction, this underwater video light. Now, do I use it a lot? Yes, this dive, this underwater video light must have at least four to five hundred dives on it. Six months after I purchased this from the Archon company, I was so impressed then I bought a second one. Now, identical to the first, same model, same price, same everything. This one has been just as good as the first one. So I didn't just get lucky with the first one I bought. They, they're both <laughs> amazing underwater video lights. So for around 135, 140 Canadian dollars delivered to my door, I have two absolutely amazing video lights that don't let me down. Uh, that are amazingly bright underwater. At the end of this video, I am going to pop up a few images of some of the uh, underwater marine life that I've shot where these video lights did play a role in, in capturing those images. So it's something for you to look at, something to see 
as far as you know the power and the quality of these lights uh, how they assist the the underwater photographer in creating the image that he's searching for or looking for and I wanted to pass this information on or my experience with these lights to other underwater photographers out there that quite possibly are, are considering spending a fortune on underwater lights that may or may not uh, serve them well uh, because these have served me very well indeed so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to actually pop up an image of my underwater dive camera with the strobes and two of these video lights mounted on that on that uh, camera tray so you can see how um, it's mounted and how it what it looks like when I'm when I'm actually going to dive with it so I'm going to pop up that image of that equipment right now There. So you've seen what that camera looks like in the train. You've seen these two lights mounted there. Um, so yeah, Archon um, underwater video lights, model D11V. They cost me $64 off eBay and they're absolutely amazing. Reliable, inexpensive, durable. I have beaten the heck out of these things. I mean, I've beaten them against rocks um, and I've never, never, ever had a problem. As far as the batteries con are concerned, there's two forms of batteries you can use. You can purchase, additional purchase, a small charger with um, a battery, which is, a, 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 I can't tell you the actual number of the battery right now. I just don't know off the top of my head. I should. Um, so you can use a rechargeable battery or you can use two of these um, number one, two, three batteries. Either way, so you can use a store-bought battery or you can pick up the charger and the rechargeable battery for it. Um, the, the charger and the rechargeable battery was only about 20 bucks for two batteries and a charger, so it was pretty cheap. Um, I recommend recharging rechargeables after every dive. These store-bought 123s, sometimes I'll use EverReady, sometimes I'll use Duracell. They'll last me for about three to four good dives if I'm using the lights pretty much all the time. If I'm using the lights sparingly, then I can get a dozen dives out of those batteries. It's great. So there you go. I wanted to share that information. Now, I should tell you, by the way, I'm not in any way, shape or form uh, endorsed by the Archon Company. I'm not paid in any way to try to sell these particular lights. I am simply sharing with you um, my experience with these lights because based on uh, my dive buddy <laughs> down in Cuba, based on his experience with his lights, I thought, you know what? I'm really going to share this information because um, there must be other guys out there that could possibly be having the same problems or, as I said, are looking to uh, purchase underwater video lights for their own photography and you don't need to spend a ton of money. Again, I've had these for like five years, hundreds of dives on them, never a problem. Hey, thank you for watching my, my video today. Please, if you like what we're talking about, give me a like, give me a share, give me a thumbs up. Um, please comment and do subscribe. Maybe leave a comment about the lights that you're, you're using for your underwater video stuff. I'm going to pop up a few images now that, again, these lights did help me create. Have a great day. Enjoy the images. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you soon.